This is a serious task to do, something with this collection. I asked for, for the pain, which was the brother of the painters when they made this. And so this is a little bit like purification. You clean your body. In this sculpture which I made, you are not as anonymous as you are usually as usually you are in the exhibition space. When I was talking to the director of the museum, how can we bring in contemporary art in the different fashion into this museum, which is very much based on old art, uh, I said, well, let me go through the galleries and see what happens. So I was walking through and finding some affinities between contemporary artists and those collections. And when I came to the collection of uh, old German art, after one or two galleries, I immediately thought about his work. I think what was what was important for me here was the, the presence of the bodies which are on the paintings. So that's why I wanted to do something with the body of the visitor, not, not leave such a comfortable uh, situation as usually visitor has. I think the grit which hinders your view of the, of the painting is just one aspect, and the aspect is that it fragments the world of the images even more. They are fragments, and through the grid, they're even more fragmented. I also like very much this view through the fence where the painting is so close yeah. and yet so distant. Yeah. That is painted on the marble? No, no, it's imitating marble. Oh. The back side is imitating just a piece of very colorful marble. But these are not just the paintings, you know, what you see here, because they are the human beings who made these paintings. And these human beings, they were unperfect. They were feeling the pain, probably much more than we feel looking at these paintings. So for them, it was a real material they gave us. I think a very important element of this uh, piece are the eight ventilators installed in the ceiling of the corridor in certain intervals that uh, uh, emphasize the fact that you're going from one world to the other, from inside the corridor to outside the corridor. Yeah. The end. It's like the shower. So it's very uh, just a function of purification for me, the air which you can clean yourself entering to the space when you can clean yourself leaving the space. So. But this is the painting which I also like very much, especially the eyes. Yeah. Which is, you know, full of sorrow. Full of sorrow from a long time weeping. All of them have these strange eyes. Yeah, yeah. I always saying that art exhibition is about also and probably the most part of this is what you as a visitor bring to the exhibition. So it means the layers which you are carrying with you 
and layers of your imagination, your experience. So if you think about Guantanamo, yes, it is about Guantanamo as well. Yeah. Suddenly we're free of the... Again with our friends. And the more so you feel relief when you're outside and you have a real one-to-one -one experience, very close to the images. When you step out, it's only like half a step, one step, or maximum of two steps, and you're right in front of it. You're looking into the eyes of Christ or a saint or, or whatever. And this kind of direct confrontation with the image, uh, that is emphasized by the fact that before, while walking from gallery to gallery, you always were kept in a distance. There is no photo which gives you the same atmosphere. Yeah. You have to be there, you have to experience this, and that's it, that's how it is. There's no other way. So it's quite like a, a miracle. People go to museums and they encounter very old works in a completely different culture. And sometimes they feel close to them, nevertheless. Although it seems to be an endless gap in between. A gap of experience, of knowledge, of belief and everything. Uh, and this is also, I think, about the work is about that. That to make you conscious of the fact that the museum is a very artificial situation.